Here are three methods to build backlinks that work extremely well in 2024. Number one is linkable assets. Number two is ABC link exchanges, which are not white hat. They are black hat. And actually that is why I'm making this episode. And then number three is weekly and monthly roundups. So a few days ago, I had a podcast with Lars Lofgren. Lars Lofgren, digital marketing OG, SEO OG, one of Neil Patel's early employees. And he talked at the beginning about using ABC link exchanges to get an affiliate article ranking number one for a keyword that was so lucrative that the article was making $100,000 a month. If you haven't listened to that episode, that is episode 470 of this show, $100,000 a month with affiliate SEO to a single web page with Lars Lofgren. And then I had someone email me. They said, can you do an episode on ABC link exchanges? ABC link exchanges are quite easy to understand. As Lars stated, they are not white hat. They're considered black hat. You can get in trouble for using them. However, I'm going to make a show about it. And I said, you know what? Because it's so easy to understand, let me include a few more link building tactics in here. And I'm always sharing my own link building strategies, but I thought it would be cool to find somebody else's link building strategies and share theirs. And I found a post that I really like. Number one is linkable assets. And I love linkable assets. Number two, ABC link exchanges. And then number three is weekly, monthly roundups, which I have also done. Anything that is black hat, I have not done, or at least I will not, I will not say that I have done it. So let's start. Number one, linkable assets. This is from Shane, the Shane Duggan on X, and this thread will be linked to in the description for this episode. So number one, linkable assets. Shane says, this is one of the methods I see working for myself and so many people out there. It's true. I see it, Edward, Edward speaking now, I see it myself. It will definitely continue to grow as a viable method of building links. The idea is simple. Create a free tool, generator, or even a valuable article. Find companies that have a related target audience. Find posts on their website where they could provide a niche edit. Reach out and show them your tool. Over time, you will do less and less outreach and links will be built naturally to your site. As more people find out about your linkable asset, assuming it's good, you'll get links. Every person's literal dream. So some examples are Ahrefs free keyword generator tools, media IOs free audio editing tools, and exploding topics industry statistic articles. And I researched each of these. A lot of people know about Ahrefs free keyword generator tools, especially if you're listening to this and you're into search engine optimization. Media IO has an AI audio editor. It's a beginner friendly online tool with a bunch of audio editing tools to use for free, like an AI powered voice editor. And of course, something like this is gonna get backlinks. And actually I made an episode, a full episode about this, but now people, so if you really wanna build links and you wanna create a linkable asset, maybe you don't have money to hire a developer to make some very simple SaaS, a micro SaaS as they're called, micro software as a service, you can spend a few weeks learning Cursor, Claude and Replit and literally build your own micro SaaS tools using AI, using AI coding tools, launch them, host them as a subdomain on your site, launch them on product hunt and beta list, put in some linkable features like share, create something and share it with a link. So now people are sending around links to your site. You've made an asset that is linkable because it's good. People are going to link to it, but also the people who are creating user generated content, if you make a user generated content micro SaaS, then people are sharing the links that are generated, which are on your domain. And you can build all of this with AI. You can just spend a few weeks. And it really is this easy because I've seen so many people do it. I would do this myself if I had more time. This is like one of those things on my list where, where I'm like, God, I wish I had more time. I would love to go deep into these AI coding tools. And so you can do that and to get people aware of it, launch it on beta list, launch it on product hunt. In fact, you could literally use the faceless TikTok and Instagram reels and YouTube short strategy that I covered on yesterday's episode. That's episode 471 of this show. You can literally use that. And now you have a linkable asset and people will create user generated content and share those links. Or you could just make something useful. It's a linkable asset. And then you could do SEO for that micro SaaS. As more people find out about it, they will include it in their blogs. They will link to it. And you've created a micro SaaS linkable asset if you're using AI tools for virtually no money. 
I also looked at Exploding Topics industry statistic article. I haven't been to Exploding Topics in a long time. I've forgotten about it, but oh my gosh, it is a goldmine of interesting statistics that I can use for TikTok videos and Instagram reels. AI logo generator, trending right now. AI image enhancer, trending right now. And actually, Exploding Topics made an article, 57 New Artificial Intelligence Statistics, October 2024. And I know a bunch of these top statistics will go viral in videos. And I'm so hyped to just read these on videos and go viral reading these statistics from exploding topics and making TikToks and Instagram reels about them. But it made this huge article, 57 new artificial intelligence statistics for October, 2024. And lots of people are linking to it. In fact, so crazy. This exact page has 726 domains linking to it, this article. I'm looking at its backlink profile. This exact page has 726 domains linking to it, and it's an article. So that's number one, linkable assets. Number two, now again, this goes against Google's terms of service. I'm not recommending it, but I was asked about it, and Lars Lofgren was talking about it a lot, so I'm sharing it, and Shane shares it. So Shane says, number two, ABC link exchanges. You can literally multiply the number of links you get for the same amount of work. I've done this to land countless domain rating 70 and many domain rating 80 links. The idea is simple. Reach out to website A offering to give them a link from website B. Reach out to website B offering to give them a link from website C. Reach out to website C offering to give them a link from website A. Get a guest post in return from each of them in the guest post, include a link to your site as well as the other site. Congratulations, you've just received three new backlinks. This method works extremely well because it is a mutual exchange and every website benefits from this. You will get 100 times more responses than just begging for links. There are other definitions for ABC link exchanges. For example, instead of four sites, you have three sites. Website A links to your site, which is website B. So you have website B, website A links to you. And then you website B links to website C and you facilitate all of that. This was just a way to get a link from website A. And this one that Shane is explaining, Shane is saying you are facilitating links from three sites to one another. Website A goes to website B, goes to website C, which goes back to website A, but they all include a link to your site, which is even more mischievous. So that's number two, ABC link exchanges. Just to reiterate, another website says, Three-way linking is considered a black hat link building tactic and should be avoided by website owners, but people still do it. Just like Lars Lofgren explained when he came on the pod. And then number three, weekly slash monthly roundups. This is another easy way to get backlinks without begging. Many times content publishers are looking for people to feature in their posts. I have done this myself, especially those who have to curate content on a regular basis. It gets difficult to always search for new sources. So instead we find them, go to Google and search in title colon roundup, quote unquote, this week and industry, you will find several roundup style articles. Oh, cool. So I just tried this. I searched in title, one word, colon roundup, quote unquote, this week, and then, and, and is caps. And then I put in the word health and I see a bunch of healthcare roundups from this week. That's cool. So this post on X says, you will find several Roundup style articles, find the content writer and look for their contacts using Hunter.io. You can also use Lucia.com. I've used that to get phone numbers and e email addresses of literally some of the most desirable people in the world. It is crazy their, what their database has. I wish I could name them, but they're so big. Like I feel bad naming these people, but yeah, Lucia.com has worked really well for me. So find their contacts. Reach out with why you would be a great choice for their roundup. Super easy, but super effective. You can land some really good industry specific links this way. I actually thought this guy, when I read this, I thought this guy was going to suggest doing one yourself, which I have also done because I have created roundup articles myself. And then a lot of people that I've like, I was a journalist on help a reporter out and now featured.com is the new help a reporter out. But there's lots of different variations. I think. Quoted is another, and Harrow rebranded to Connectively. But I was a journalist on Helper Reporter Out, and I made a roundup post. It was about technology. I had 50 different people in the roundup post, and a bunch of them shared 
with a post on social media. They were proud to be featured in it. And some of them linked to it on their blogs. And I did something a bit, a bit devious. And I made all of the links, no follow links. And a bunch of people who linked back to me, they didn't realize I gave them a no follow link. So I gave them a no follow link and they gave me a do follow link. But listen, I did that many, many, many years ago. I don't even think that's black hat. I'm pretty sure it's not. But this is a lot of people. I would actually constantly have guest authors on my site and I would give them a no follow link because it is against Google's terms of service to reward guest authors with follow links. You can give follow links if it's relevant, but if you're basically trading content for a link, you're not really supposed to do that. So I would always give no follow links. And a lot of people who wrote for my site, this is back in the day, I took down a lot of these articles actually, but a lot of people who wrote for my site, they didn't know the difference. And they were still happy to have a guest article on my site. And they would share it, that they had a guest article on edwardsturm.com. But also being featured in weekly roundups yourself. It's really easy. In fact, you could do it with featured.com. You could do it with quoted. There's so many places where journalists are posting who actually will give a do follow link, which passes SEO link juice. And they're looking for people to feature in their roundup articles. All right. So that is three ways to build links in 2024. Number one, my favorite is linkable assets. Number two, ABC link exchanges. You know, it's black cats. It can't really vouch for it, but you can listen to Lars Lofgren talk about it on episode 470 of this show. And then number three, weekly, monthly roundups. And it doesn't just have to be roundups. You can use feature.com and like literally you are the only person that is cited or it's a few experts who are cited, maybe three. In fact, I did this this was a few years ago, but I got an amazing backlink in Ahrefs in an Ahrefs article. And I think only three other people were cited. And I just had a good background because I did SEO for a lot of impressive companies. And I was head of marketing at a really hot company. And so they're, they're like, Edward has a great background. He has a good thing to say. We're going to include him. I also know of, and I'm not going to vouch for this either. I'm not going to promote this either, but I'm going to say that people do it. I also know of people who will just lie, who have no problems lying about their backgrounds and they will make stuff up and journalists are happy to cite them because they sound credible and they have, they, they say that they have a credible past. People will just lie and then they will get links. All right, there you go. Three ways to build links. This is episode 472 of my daily digital marketing podcast, The Edwards Show. Do this thing every day, 472 days in a row. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.